Harry Roswell Wall was dean at KUMC for 24 years. During this time, he was also chairman of pathology and superintendent of the KU hospital. These years include the Great Depression and the Second World War. Dean Wall continued to be a passionate educator of pathology, which he truly loved. He kept the hospital running, including the three-year period when half the faculty and numerous staff nurses left to create the 77th Evacuation Hospital in North Africa and Europe during World War II. Dr. Wall also oversaw the growth of the physical plant, which was only two buildings when he started, but was ten when he retired. Dean Harding, School of Medicine class of 1943, recalls an early meeting with Dean Wall where he said, I imagine all of you have leather heels on your shoes. And he says, I want you, you're going to be going into the hospital and you're going to be walking around seeing patients. And I don't, you know, sound like a bunch of cattle coming down the aisle. He says, patients are sick. They want it, we want it quiet. I want you to go to shoe store right over so and so and, and have rubber heels put on your shoes. So we all did that. In his personal writings completed days before his final hospitalization, he indicated that he had a mentor of his own. He writes, Being primarily a laboratory man, I felt uneasy in a group of clinicians and sought solace and comfort from a highly respected and successful clinician. He really was my advisor, but few on the faculty knew the source of my clinical help. That man was Franklin Murphy, the father of the second Franklin Murphy, who in 1948 was part of a committee formed by Chancellor Malott to create a report on the state of the medical center. He recalls, Central to our analysis, although there were a variety of other things in terms of physical plant, this, that, the other thing, was the fact that it, the school needed new leadership. Uh, Dr. Wall had been dean for many, many years. He was getting older and I think tired. He'd fought a whole range of severe battles. And I just don't, I think we all felt he was not up to another uh, creative convulsion. Dean Wall dedicated a large portion of his life to the stewardship of KUMC. Even after retiring as dean, he remained chair of pathology until 1951 and then performed teaching duties and research in cell structure until his death in 1956.